Hello YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of True Blood Season 5, Episode 6. Uh, we're at the halfway point of Season 5. It was another fast-paced episode, another good one. Um, I'll start off uh, with what I don't care about, which is now officially I don't give a shit about Terry. Um, you know, I was saying, like, even last up to last week, I was saying, like, hey, at least it's not like last year's storyline. At least it's better. Maybe see where they were going. I swear to God, I didn't even pay attention this week. Um, he went running off, and Patrick tackled him, and I was just like, um, and then they started, I don't know, they started saying some bullshit, I completely zoned out, and, um, I guarantee I missed nothing. Um, so yeah, uh, and, and again, it's not that it's the actor's fault, or even some of the, the writing, it's just, like, the scene with Terry and Arlene, it was a good scene, it was well acted, I'm glad they're giving the actors something to do, I guess. Uh, also a nice lost reference calling the thing a smoke monster, um, cause Carrie Preston who plays Arlene is married to Michael Emerson who is Ben on Lost. Um, but, yeah, it's just, they should be doing with Terry this season what they're doing with Andy and Hoyt. Putting them in the background where they belong. Terry does not need this storyline. And again, I understand that they're using it and they're going to lead it into Lafayette's storyline. I guarantee they're going to lead it into Lafayette's storyline. Um, but, um, yeah, it's... Uh, and even as, you know what? Think about Lafayette this episode. He's getting his own storyline too this season. He's got to go track down Jesus's, you know, uh, what is it, his grandfather or something like that. Um, again, it's, it's away from the other, from the other storylines, yet... I find it a little more interesting just because Lafayette is not, you know, a side character. He's one, he feels more like one of the main characters. So him getting a storyline um, feels no different than Sam or Tara getting a storyline, you know, or Pam or anything like that. Terry belongs in the background, um, you know, but, um, yeah. Anyway, Lafayette had, um, had, uh, a fun scene with uh, with uh, with his mother, and uh, I think it's his mother. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, so I'm not completely looking forward to where that's going, I guess, but I can tolerate it so much more. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, all right, yeah. Moving on to um, Tara and Jess. Had their little fight, got broken up. Um, Hoyt had to have the talk with her. He says, you know, very annoyingly, like, that like he, you know, she still wants him. It's like, you know, just because she didn't want you dead, dude, doesn't mean that she wants you back or your dick or, um, you know, you would even be in the same fucking room with her. Uh, not at all. Um, but, uh, so she left him. And then he's getting, you know, bit later on. He's kind of half suicidal, and it's just, I don't really completely care. I see they dragged him into the, um, the, uh, whatever those people are in the Obama masks, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but, uh, I do like that Jessica is, you know, just again, just not immature about things. Um, which is nice to see. Now, Tara and Pam had the little conversation. This was actually nice where Tara, uh, was speaking about, you know, was calling Pam, you know, I forget what it was, like Mrs. or something like that, whatever. But, uh, Tara used to do that a lot in season one, having problems with Bill owning, uh, slaves and stuff like that. So it was a nice callback. Um, and I like how Pam just completely just doesn't give a shit and just completely turns it aside. Um, uh, pretty much has turned everything Tara's done just completely aside. Um, but, uh, still, it's a fun, it's a fun dynamic. Um, I bet Tara and Jessica actually do end up getting along. I hope they do, because it'd be a fun, a fun, uh, little group there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll mention the Obama-masked people, who, uh, are shooting every kind of supernatural force, and, um, I think it's HBO got in trouble for Game of Thrones with them using the George W. Bush head. Which they inadvertently, the thing is like facing, you know, a different direction. You wouldn't even know it was Bush unless the writers said it on the DVD commentary. And they meant no harm in it. 
but uh, this one's a little bit different. These guys have Obama masks and they're killing, you know, innocent people and trying to shoot at children. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if, you know, how much HBO has to apologize for this one. Even if, look, the show is a very, very liberal show. So I assume these guys are, you know, they're doing this in these Obama masks because they, uh, the guy's killing everybody. They're doing this because they hate Obama. And I guess that's supposed to, some roundabout way, not be a negative on Obama because awful, if awful people hate him, then, you know, well, they're awful. So who gives a shit what they think? But uh, it's still, it's just something where, just like with the bush head, it's just like, why, you know, why would you, you know, you're asking for it with stuff like that. Um, but if anyone wants to chime in on that, let me know. Um, yeah, Sam and Luna. I thought Luna was dead. I was wrong. I actually watched the Comic-Con panel, the True Blood one, and it spoiled for me that Luna was going to be alive, which annoyed me, made me look like a... Um, a proper, proper dumbass from the last week's review where I was so happy they killed somewhere off. Again, I'm personally happy that Luna's back because I like Luna and I, you know, she's very, very nice to look at. Uh, but I just, I, again, for the show, they don't kill anyone. Uh, well, alright, again, I'll get to the end of the episode, I guess, and kind of switch that a little bit, but it's not quite the same thing. And I'll explain that why. Explain why on that one. Um, but anyway, it was nice to introduce, uh, Marcus's mother back into it, um, which is fine, and, um, I like that Sam is working with Andy, uh, again, there you go, Andy has been, si has been with Jason this season, and now he's with Sam, side character, you know, um, what else, what else, hold on. Um, yeah, I guess I'm done talking about, um, Sam with that. Uh, okay, Alice got glamoured, which was very, very funny. And, um, I will say this, I'm happy that the show's doing this stuff this season where he gets glamoured in the beginning of the episode, Sookie finds out, you know, ten minutes later in that episode, and then kinda, you know... Not fixes it, but at least she knows it's not. It's something that normally on this show would have taken two, three weeks to her to figure it out. Uh, they didn't drag it out. That's been one of the strengths of this season that they're not dragging things out. Um, even the Terry storyline isn't getting dragged out. I don't like it, but it's not. You know, it's moving. Um, but uh, and Alice is gonna get is gonna be the new Pac Man. He's gonna fight whoever that asshole is that fought him. I guess um, when they were trying to kill Russell. Uh, another new character, it's gonna side with him. Again, very attractive, very nice to look at. Does the show need another new character? New. No. But, it looks like we're gonna get one. Uh, it's not that the storyline isn't important, because Russell's gonna have werewolves on his side, so Alice is gonna have to, I guess, help fight him. Um, you know, that's about the only end game I could see for that. Uh, so yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Jason and Sookie, um, going to the fairy, uh, nightclub. Um, you know, she gets the, um, the image of, uh, of a vampire that, um, killed her parents. And, uh... Again, the Comic Con panel. I'm not. I will. I'll maybe I'll do this at the end of the review. I'll. I'll, I'll say I'm just gonna spoil some stuff. And if you can, if you want to shut the review up, you will be able to. Um, the Comic Con panel kind of sort of spoiled for me who the vampire is. Uh, sort of. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it was just misdirection, but um, I'm pretty sure I know who it is. Uh, I won't go into it until uh, the end of this little review. Um, and the Comic Con thing also kind of spoiled for me what's gonna happen to her when. They, all, all the other fairies zapped her at the end, so I won't say um, or speculate because I'm pretty sure I know. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, so Salome is the, you know, the culprit, the, the one that let Russell out. That's pretty obvious. Um, kind of sucks that a lot of people saw it coming. You wouldn't, normally you wouldn't want that. But, um, you know, uh, I liked a lot of Bill and Eric's kind of discussions where you don't quite know what they really believe. Maybe they, 
you know, each one was kind of um, being hypocritical, where they were saying one thing in one scene, and then they were saying something else in another. Um, so I think we're going to learn a little bit more of that, or really maybe get into their psyche a little bit about, a little bit about what they really think about how vampires and humans should coexist um, as the season goes. Uh, they have bigger fish to fry to uh, fry now that uh, Russell is back in in the fold and that he killed Roman. Uh, which again, yes, they killed Roman. It was nice. It sucks that Christopher Maloney is gone, but it's nice that again Russell's back and he fucking killed someone right away. Um, uh, now, Roman getting killed off is not the same thing as Luna, because Roman was just on for a couple of episodes. Luna's been on since last season. So, for me, it doesn't negate the fact that they didn't kill off Luna. My annoyance with that. And again, as I said, it's not, uh, I'm not going to go into it again. Um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see where the story goes from here, as Russell's just going to kill all the other authority people. Uh, clearly, he's not going to kill Bill and Eric right away. Maybe he's going to use them. Or ask him to them to join him or something. I don't know, uh, but I expect good things. And um, yeah, I think that's all I really got. We made it to the halfway point of this season, uh, and so far it's been leaps and bounds better than season four. It was better than season three. Um, personally, I would put it third behind seasons two and one. Um, I love season two up until I think probably the last episode. So, um, so, yeah, I'm very, I'm so, again, I've said, I can't say this enough, how happy I am that, um, that this season may, may be the best season since the first. That is, you know, the best compliment I think you can pay for a show that they're just as good as they were from the beginning, which they haven't been, but, you know, second half is when everything is supposed to just, you know, it's where everything's supposed to pay off, and I hope I hope it does. I really do. Um, okay, I'm going to spoil some stuff now from the Comic-Con panel. Um, not everything, but just stuff that I was talking about earlier. Uh, so if you don't want to know anything, or you haven't seen the video, if you don't want to know anything, shut the video off right now. Okay? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure um, that the vampire that killed Suki's parents... Uh, is Russell because of the hat he's wearing. It looks later on in the season he's wearing a similar hat. He's got, like, sunglasses on and stuff. So, you know, uh, maybe, again, it's misdirection, but I'm pretty sure it's Russell. I know some people think, oh, what should be Bill? But they already did the whole thing with Bill. Um, you know, you know, just how many times can he do that? Plus, it'll put Sookie in, you know, more pissed-off mood against Russell, I guess, uh, to finally get rid of him at the end of the season. Um more at stake, more personally at stake. Again, no pun intended. Uh, and it looks like Sookie's going to lose her uh, fairy powers. That's what that's z all those zaps are going to do. Um, I won't give away anything else I saw at the panel. I'll do that. I'm going to make a video about the Comic-Con panel, I think, tomorrow. Uh, with a whole bunch of other stuff. But, um, yeah, that's all the spoilers I guess I'll really talk about. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, sorry this is a day late, but I did Breaking Bad last night, and I really didn't want to do two in the same evening uh and to be honest breaking bad's a better show so sorry uh this one's gonna come second uh to that one and it will for the rest of the time that it's on um but uh yeah i shall see you guys next week bye